last night I went through the chimney breast and it's worked really well. Let's see if I can get a bit closer. So you can see inside there, there's a ceramic liner inside the chimney itself. So that's very, very good news. Um, I've just jammed insulation, that's the wispy bits you can see around the edge. I just jammed insulation in just to seal around that pipe. Um, and then I'm gonna make good with um, some nice uh, masonry afterwards. But um, if you watch the one about, you know, the ground prep and getting the foundation done, that video, you'll know that the uh, the boiler has had to stay stay in place because this entire chimney breast had so much messing around with it lower down that it was becoming unstable and I really wasn't comfortable taking any more out. At the time, I said that I was going to, when I went through the chimney breast with a nice big hole, I was going to pour liquid cement down there and fill the entire back boiler, all the voids in it with concrete and make the entire bottom section there's completely solid. We are now at that point because today I'm going to put the extra clay stabilized perlite and the cob starting coming through here and it'll be very difficult to get onto that hole when I can't walk on that section there. I mean I could get in from that side but it's still really awkward. So the next job is to get a really nice wet sloppy mix of uh, concrete made up and I'm going to pour that down that hole. Now to get, I've made a fairly wet mix of some of concrete now to get that down that hole using a um, trowel or anything else like that, it's going to cause an awful mess. I'd have to sheet everything out and all the rest of it. So instead, I'm using this. I've just sawn the bottom off a bottle. I just literally scoop a load in. You can see it's fairly liquid. And then I just put that in the hole and dump it. And that's it, it's all gone. So I'm gonna keep going with that until I've gone through the whole wheelbarrow load and that should probably be enough. There's you know, not much space down here. And it should have filled it up to about this level, I'd estimate. Um, it's not gonna come all the way up to here and that's okay. Um, but it also means that when I'm doing servicing of a drop air thing, it's gonna be sitting on a little slab of cement uh, concrete rather than having to you know, worry about it being you know, down here in the heat exchanger and so on. So there's a lot of reasons for getting it done, but mostly it's about stabilising this. And that's that done. Um, the pipe that's in there isn't permanent. That's just a short section, about a foot or so, that I've got for elsewhere in the ducting. But I put a fairly wet... Well, first off, I got a wet render mix, and I just basically skimmed the entire inside of the, uh, inside of the hole there. So that's completely sealed, and no capacity for leak outside of the chimney lining so that is now a single pipe running through and then i put a little bed of a nice wet mix on the bottom there and i've just bedded that pipe down into it because it's got the same profile as the 90 degree pipe that will go on here so that'll stay there until tomorrow as that sets up and i've just shoved a rag into it just to keep it uh, you know so it's not got a huge draft going through the chimney but uh, you can actually if you put your hand against it you can actually feel the draw through that chimney it's amazing so yeah this rocket should run pretty well um, even without a huge amount of priming so that's that done